in the well, isn't that a real shocker department? Major League Baseball Commissioner Rob Manfred is backing the Arizona Diamondbacks ownership group and says from what he has seen that the 19-year-old Arizona home yard needs some serious work to get it up to Major League state-of-the-art standards. Diamondbacks ownership has been fighting Maricopa County over the stadium lease deal which runs until 2028. The ownership group wants to get rid of a clause agreed upon by a former group of Diamondbacks owners in a county that prevents the current group from looking elsewhere to find the state-of-the-art 21st century facility, whether it is in Phoenix or elsewhere, during the course of the deal. The former Diamondbacks ownership, back when Major League Baseball awarded Phoenix and St. Petersburg expansion franchises in 1995, ignored one-time Major League Baseball Commissioner Peter Ubroth's advice to sign a 20, not 30-year stadium lease. As it stands now, the Diamondbacks' ownership is locked into a lease until 2028, but can revisit the issue in 2024. The Diamondbacks' ownership group wants a shinier, newer toy, and probably would look somewhere in the Valley, maybe even Phoenix. But does Phoenix have more than a billion dollars needed for two sports buildings, a baseball stadium, and an arena for the NBA and NHL? Phoenix elected officials did a rotten job with the arena, building it to basketball specifications and ruined any chance of a hockey team succeeding in the building. The Phoenix metropolitan area is one of the fastest growing markets in the United States, but sports facility building is quite a haul of money and there is also debt on all of the structures. If the Phoenix Arena and Baseball Stadium are replaced and torn down, the debt load continues. It is the price of being a big league city. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.